Good morning, welcome to Vlogmas Day 13. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jasmine. Um, right now I am currently at work. I reused this coffee cup and it just has my home coffee. I don't know if anyone else does that, but I do. It's about 6.42 right now. I start work at seven, but I usually clock in around um, 6.50. Um, yeah. Uh, it's very bittersweet that I'm gonna be going tonight soon. I think I've just grown really accustomed to days because of the fact that like my sleep schedule is like regulated. I sleep at normal times, and it doesn't matter how many time, like how many days you're off because, um, or what days you're on or what days you're off because of the fact that like you're sleeping at normal times, so you're functional during the days that you have off. So it's really really nice on days. I also feel like they also have like a good workload. Um, I don't ever think it's like so horrible where we're like swamped. But then again, I don't know because when I'm on orientation, whenever I like get really, really busy, I can just like, um, I can tell my preceptor then what usually happens, like, I don't, I don't know if I'm technically supposed to do this, but, like, when I'm precepting, what happens is, like, I'll take the patients that we have, like, whatever, three, and then if we have to, in the emergency room, we have to transport patients, like, if they're going to another unit within the hospital. So, essentially, what happens is, um, we have to, sorry, I'm going to multitask because it's kind of, like, getting near the time, but... We have to transport them to the unit and we have to go with transport. And then that usually takes a little bit of time because it's either on the other side of the hospital and then sometimes it takes a while. But yeah. Um, that's that. I'm really, really sleepy. I don't know why. I think it's just because um, it's like when you have your days on, when you have your days off, it's like getting all mixed up. Oh god, these socks are starting to fit me. I think they're like shrinking. Um, they were a little big before. If you don't know what these are, they're compression socks and they really help. Um, I don't know, someone said like it helps with your varicose veins, it helps like um, just help whenever you're on your feet for too long. So that's why I wear them. But yeah. Um, I think someone told me like they best said it at like the difference between days and nights is a different kind of busy. When you're on days you have so many resources. Um, like for example, on nights I used to when I one of my first nights I had to learn how to do the EKGs because we don't have an EKG tech or a cardi they call it cardio or whatever. And you call EKG people to do your EKGs for you. Versus on nights you just do it yourself or the CNAs will do it. Or the emergency techs will do it um but it's way different it's like crazy and then another thing is like we also have um people who could do our labs which i'm gonna be really freaking sad when we don't have lab on nights because i've grown accustomed to just calling them whenever it's like a hard stick and I can't draw labs, which is horrible because I should just be doing it myself. But it's, sometimes you get really busy and you're just like, you'd rather just have someone else do it. Um, but yeah, that is that. 
I am so not ready for today. Well, I am because I have a day off tomorrow. So my schedule is kind of weird. But another thing I wanted to talk about is I got fortunate enough to get both Christmas Eve and Christmas Day off, which is freaking crazy. Like, I was telling my cousin about it, and, like, everyone's pretty shocked that I got it off because, you know, I'm new. But I think it's more so because I'm precepting, and when you precept, um, you essentially kind of take over the other person's um, thing. Oh, my God, that guy's looking at my camera. I hate it when people look at my camera. Um, yeah, so when you precept, you essentially have that. Also, I don't know who I'm precepting with today because my preceptor has to take... Well, uh, like called off. Um, I really need to use the restroom. Uh, there was so much traffic today. I didn't expect to have like this little time, but anyway, I am gonna go ahead and get ready. I don't want to bring this big jacket in because of the fact that I always do. I have my scissors. I'll do like a little haul, I guess. I have my scissors on me, and then I have, I need to bring in a hair tie because you need a hair tie. I don't know how people like let their hair down because I feel so dirty and I, well, my hair's really long, so that's why I feel like I need to tie it up all the time. But some people with shorter hair, I guess they can get away with it. Um, I'm gonna bring a bunch of pens because the weird thing that I noticed when I switched to the emergency room is they don't use marker, they use pen a lot more. That was my thumbnail. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go inside. I have to use a restroom really bad. That's TMI, but anyway, yeah, let's go. No, I'm on my 15 right now. Coffee, so that's why I'm in my car. Off so I don't want to tell who I am. Okay. I feel like I'm always working because client from the other job just called me. Okay. So I'm back from work. I have some gifts that I wanted to give. So I did have like the, basically like three preceptors in the span of like 12 weeks. Um, but I did have two preceptors that I had for a little bit less. So like I got them like a smaller gift. Almost something. So there's one. Like, I think they're really cute. Like, I have my own cup like this, and I really like it. Oh my god, it's not focusing. So I got these. And they're cute. And then, the other preceptor, I got her... I don't know which one's cuter. I got her a candle and then this gift card. Because she's gonna be on nights with me, and people on nights need more caffeine. So yeah. I don't know which one's cuter. Is this one cuter? Which one would I rather have? I don't even care. I don't know. But I want to try to get out on all of them. I'm not going to do that today. I'll probably do it another time. It's like 9.30, 10. No, it's 10.30 right now. I'm super tired. I was going to talk more about my day. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you know that like I posted like a little thing that they were like that we had done a stroke in like 13 minutes and i believe door to door to stroke time is supposed to be like less than 30 minutes but it, i think it's like the same stroke that i talked about where the lady like got tpa and like it was really super effective on her i've never seen it be that effective so it's pretty neat to be able to experience that and yeah and then <clears throat> i did want to talk more about how i because in, oh, it looks so awful. In the emergency room, you have, I really want, I wish I had a hood so I could have just like put it over me. But in the emergency room, I look so crusty. I feel crusty. So in the emergency room, it's so freaking awful. So in the ER, we have both triage and then just like the back, which is like normal people. Which is what you typically expect from like an ER nurse. What ER nursing is, it's like a, the closest to bedside, um, but it's not bedside. It's like 
So basically what happens when you first go into the ER, let's say you're not being taken by ambulance. If you're taken by ambulance, you're taken straight to the back, but if you're not, you go through triage. So the first thing that you do is you go to the pivot nurse, and the pivot nurse gets your vitals um, while you're there. That person is like the person to either send you all the way back because they think you're really sick, or you go and wait in the waiting room, and they assign you an ESI number. I don't remember what ESI, emergency something something um and then once you're assigned that number if you want to know what that number is i talked about it in one of my other videos um or you can just google it um so yeah they assigned that and then they either in triage so we have like three triage beds where we can like fast track them and give them what they need and then um discharge them or they have sent all the way back, which is where we have like 20 something beds and that's where they go. So if you didn't know, that's how like our ER works. Each ER has their own kind of way of running, but that's like the gist of most of how it runs. Um, and yeah, so it's a way different flow when you're on triage versus the normal. I felt so out of it. I think it's more so because I hate feeling useless and I felt super useless being in pivot because I was just sitting there. <laughs> and the gist of most of it is like just redirecting people and like getting their chief complaint. But I think the biggest difference is like when you're in pivot you're supposed to be really experienced. And the nurse I was like shadowing, she was able to identify patients and I looked at them and I was like I don't get it like what's wrong with them and then there were some cases like they're really obvious like they should be um, sent to the back but um, some cases where I was just like uh, she looks fine <laughs> so for sure I see why you would need to have a little bit more experience to be on that but yeah that was pretty much that pretty neat that we were able to um, experience it because I know technically you're supposed to have like a year's experience but yeah that was my day today really didn't do anything else other than work but I always work um I know this vlog this is probably so freaking boring but look at this other cute gift that I got from my other preceptor I wanted to give her something because I know that I didn't get a chance to like thank her and stuff because she precepted me for a really long time I'm excited to give her that. I'm back on nights really freaking soon. Okay, sorry, I'm trying to put my schedule. Like, my schedule's been all over the place because we just got our new schedule. I don't know if I talked about this already. I think I did in the morning about my holiday schedule. I'm like, God bless that whoever fixed my schedule let me take Christmas and Christmas Eve off. So, I'm excited for that, and then, dude, I don't know if anyone was here last time, or if I even, like, vlogged it, but last year when I was only a CNA, they made me work Christmas Eve, and that freaking sucked, because, you know why? You know why it freaking sucked? Because they didn't acknowledge Christmas Eve as a holiday. What? Anyway. Today was a good day overall. Hopefully tomorrow will be the same. I know that I'm just having an education day. I'm not gonna... I hate how loud it is in here. Okay, so... Yeah, tomorrow's just an education day. Not much going on. I'm just gonna go to sleep because it's literally like 11 p.m. right now. And my education thing, which is just like a skills lab, is like, technically you can show up anytime before 10. So... I might just show up later because I am tired and lazy. But yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for the vlog. If you guys like this video, give this video a thumbs up. And as Vlogmas approaches, I'm probably going to take a break from vlogging because I've been vlogging a lot. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.